In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use AgLab's Auto Splitter and the Indian Timer. The main reasons you'll want to use the Auto Splitter is because it splits automatically and it uses the in game timer so um, it removes any lag from your run, which saves free time. This is a screenshot from my Starwood PB. You can see it shows me, it saves me 8 seconds. So it's pretty significant. First, we'll download the auto splitter. This page is the ROMAC rules. I'd recommend you read through it if you haven't read before. before. But define what we're looking for. We're going to do Control F and search for iLab. Because this thing is made by iLab. You can see here there's a file to download. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay. See, I have it downloaded now. Next, we'll edit our live split layout. We want to add two things. You, you want a second timer. Because one, one timer has to show in game time and wants to show it real time for your run to be valid. We also add a clickable auto splitter. And double click it. Browse. Yeah, then open your live split auto splitter thing. So there's a few options here. Split on final split when screen start or earlier start was grabbed. You probably want that checked. Also very useful is delete file A on game reset. I have it checked. It's useful when your run doesn't have a reset in it. So we'll hit OK. Next, we need to make the timers real time and in game timer. So I'll make the top one, I'll make it real time, and the bottom one, game time. You can make one of these a detail timer if you want to. So next, we'll add splits as if we're running star or 20 star. Let's go ahead and add the game name. And category. So I want to show you how to split with um, level IDs and also star count. So say we want to split whenever we enter the, the level PPP. We go on PPP first. Use this helper.exe file I, I attached in the description to connect and then generate. You can see it's level uh, level ID 12. So up here we'll say enter PPP. Oops. Uh, and put in brackets 12. That's two brackets for level IDs. For star counts, you do parentheses. So, we'll get, be getting 5 stars on the PPP, so we'll do PPP 5, in parentheses. I went ahead and added the rest of the splits. Now, you don't have to use, like, little IDs like this if you don't want to. Most people don't, but it's useful in some situations. So, now I'll hit OK. Sorry, I forgot to add the splits. Let me do that real fast. Splits. There we go. And now your timer should work. We'll hit reset on this. See if it starts working. And yep. And if you look closely, you can tell the real time and again timer are a little bit different. So yeah, it's basically working now.